Hey, SD and with me Shubham from Blender File and this is the node concept still going on and today we have uh, the refraction and the glass nodes. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so open up a new blend file and refraction will do first. So refraction is actually the bending of light when light passes from one medium to another because of different optical densities of various mediums and that material is also available in Blender, actually kind of good. So we have a quick scene for that. Open up this timeline and change this from nowhere. Okay, new material, maybe green, the cylinder, blue or something and the cube. Now this is the main mesh and from diffuse change it to refraction. Okay, so let me just draw up a render border and render it. And as you can see, the cylinder when passes through the cube actually gets refracted like it happens in real life. So if you see from top, you can see it's a bit curved or something, but actually it's a bit straight. If you can see in wireframe, that's due to this refraction node. And that's actually what refraction is in real life. So it's kind of almost perfectly simulated in Blender. So there are many properties of refraction. So first is the color, you can adjust the tint of the refraction so it's a bit red and you can see it a bit green refraction the color of the light when it enters into the volume let me just keep it white that is actually rest then there's roughness which simulates some blurriness some microscopic bumps which cause blurriness of whatever is in the volume so roughness of one means a lot of rough a lot of blurriness and roughness of zero is completely, completely unblurred. So zero is only good. And then there's IOR, which is the index of refraction value, and it is the ratio of optical densities of this outer medium and this inner medium. So IOR of one means that there's no difference between the outer medium and inner medium. So it will be completely transparent. As you can see, no bending of light at all. So the IOR of world is one, so there's actually no bending of light in the default IOR of one. And then the IOR of water is 1.33 and it bends a light somewhat like what water does. Then there's IOR of glass, which is 1.5 these are most commonly used ones and actually I don't remember any more of these so if you want to know more we have actually shared an image on our Facebook page facebook.com slash blender file this one you can go out there and check those values and the higher IOR means that the bending of light will be more and lower IOR the bending of light will be less and if I could just so IR of 0.9 bends the lights in a opposite direction and it's actually very weird because in real life no material has IR of less than 1. So you might not want to do that. So 1.45 was the default. Then there is this normal which will be discussed later because you know, normal vectors these are all for later. And then there's the distribution GGX, Beckman and Sharp which are basically just different algorithms of how Blender simulates this light calculations. So there's Sharp, which is a bit different because it does not get affected by this roughness value, whatever you set this to. But these both, they have different algorithms and they get affected by this roughness value. So GGX. And you might want to check out which one looks best in your scene when you're using them. So I think that's about it for the refraction node. Now on to the glass node. So S shader glass. Uh, so uh, basically glass shader is uh, similar to the refraction but only thing is it simulates a bit of gloss on the surface. So uh, to show that let's uh, remove this and get this black and let's add in a plane with a source of emission like that uh, go ahead and let's add in a material 
change it to a hey, it's not left yeah no change it to a mission and like that and now if we see it is actually well too much <laughs> Oh yeah, there it is. You can see it is actually you know mix of refraction and, and glossy. So the reflection is also seen on the glass surface, and that's basically what's the difference between the glass and the refraction. Rest, everything is exactly exactly the same. So uh, if you want to see the difference, if you change it to refraction, there is no reflection, but in the glass it is also having a reflection of this emission. So that's basically the difference between the glass and the refraction node. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you like it and do subscribe to stay tuned and if you have some query or suggestion do drop it in the comment section and you can also follow us on facebook.com slash blender file and see you soon and happy blending.